everyone in New Bedford. It's Miss Julie and I'm going to show you a quick and easy motor maze to set up with whatever materials you have at home. I'll talk you through it. Here we go. So here's my motor maze. Did it in a small contained area. Yeah, I've got some pool noodles. I've got some balls to throw and I had some chalk so that's what I started with. But there's a whole bunch of easy ways that you can make your own I think I'll kiddo start over here with leapfrog. You can tell I really like to doodle, so I made them actual lily pads. Jumping from side to side, across the lily pads. Now, the one that I've been using at my school a lot is the high five. Seeing how far can you reach and jump. You can hit blue, green, yellow, all the way up on red to your tippy toes. My maze then comes over here where you would stand on the mat and you do wall push-ups. I like counting down with my friends so that way they know when they are finished. So I might have my friends do five, four, three, two, one and be all done. From there, I have a follow the trail. I'd really like to see my friends do heel to toe balancing on the line and looking at the line as they go. I did come up with this snazzy little spin I'd like to see spin in place in one direction. And then as you keep going on the maze, spin in place one time in the other direction. Following the maze along, you come to hopscotch. I've done hopscotches a couple different ways. This one using one foot and then two feet. I've made a big long rectangle and drawn where feet go inside the box and then outside the box for our kids who have a harder time jumping on one foot. That way they can stay on two feet. But you would jump your way through here. Decided to follow, continue doing that balance beam, following along. Have a ball. And just practicing, catching and bouncing. And then coming over here to the pool noodles. This could be anything, logs, cracks. What can you claim over? And then I'm going to use my fire pit, practice counting. I could do some jumping jacks over here, one for each number. Now this one, I like these are last year's pinwheels. But having kids crouch down, taking a deep breath in, and then blowing the pinwheels. Nice calming activity there. I've got couple of these wiffle balls to throw. I hope this doesn't collapse under the weight of my kids. I'm working on climbing over. And then over to here with a little writing activity. I've got for my kiddos who are younger, working on tall line down, sleepy line across, circle stroke around. You can add to it the crisscross, leaning line down, or letters and numbers for our friends who are ready for that too. And that right there, my friends, is Miss Julie's side yard motor maze.